Hi everyone, just thought I'd show you a uh, power supply uh, that you can modify if you can get one of these for free or cheap. It might be useful for your Christmas or Halloween display. Uh, it's a Dell power supply. It's a um, model number D220P-01. So it's rated for 12 volts at 18 amps. So you should be able to use that. Uh, this one was kindly given to me by um, Brad from Brad's Christmas Lights at the uh, Ipswich Mini the other day. So um, basically it comes with this weird looking plug, which is not a lot of use to anyone. You could buy a matching socket I guess and try and wire it up or a breakout board and whatever, but that's just more expense and there's no real need for it there. So you can just chop that off nice close to the plug so you get the maximum amount of cable um, to work with. So leave the ferrite cores on there. So obviously that one you're going to leave, but that one don't chop it up here. Chop it way down near that plug. So if you uh, chop that off and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of wires there there's three white ones there's three black ones there's a blue a red and then there's the braided shield sort of in there as well so the braided shield we're not interested in the red one we're not interested in um, but all the rest of them do apply for what we're going to do so those other two the shield you could just crop off very close to there. The red one, maybe just cut it fairly short and then put a bit of heat shrink over it so it can't short do anything else. I don't know what that function does, but if in doubt, we'll just insulate it. So now as it stands there, just hooked up like that. I mean, you'd probably guess that the black one's going to be negative and the white is positive, but I've got this powered up. Got the mains there, but there's no voltage there. So it has got has to have an enable line. So basically, if you twist together the one of the uh, blacks to that blue wire, then we'll have voltage. And you can't hear it on camera, but I've just heard that power supply start up. Just hear a very faint buzz in the background. So I'll just put my meter on it there. So we've got 12.35 volts uh, there. So just over 12 volts, probably ideal for running your Halloween display. Uh, props or lighting or something like that or Christmas display lighting so um, maybe you can pick these up surplus where the PCs are no good maybe the PCs have been thrown out but there's nothing wrong with the power supplies so uh, like I said at the Queensland Mini the other day Brad was giving away a bunch of them so I grabbed a couple of those so all you have to do basically is chop off that plug uh, and use the black and white positive and negative outputs. Now it's got three of each. It's rated at 18 amps. That sort of works out fairly neatly that in theory, I guess you could just use one pair of wires for the output instead of trying to common them up and solder them all together or whatever. So, because they're all the same and they're all the same. So that would be your positive and negative outputs. Um, but if you're only using it at fairly low current, like if you're using it at six amps or less, seeing it's capable of 18 amps overall, that sort of uh, means that you could draw up to six amps per individual wire. Uh, but if you knew you were going to draw more than that, well, you'd join two or three of them together and make the effort to common them up. So here I haven't bothered for this demonstration. So I've just got a um, uh, some LED lights just to show that it is outputting some stuff there. Um, so we'll go on to what's the red onto there. Now I've got the red, green, blue positive there so we'll hook that up and you'll be able to see there we go 12 volts out of that so pretty simple overall to hook up easier than trying to muck around with that funny connector and um, that should be quite reliable up to the full 18 amps shouldn't really have to derate that I mean it's a Dell branded power supply whatever the label says it should be able to supply it. that's what it should be able to supply all day long so um, just be careful when you cut around the, uh, just use your Stanley knife or whatever to cut around to get that outer jacket off when you um, cut that connector off. Uh, just make sure you don't nick uh, any of those conductors there because otherwise that twist around that could short out later on which would be, be, be uh, very bad. So um, uh, there's probably uh, nothing much else I can tell you on that. Uh, so um, if you've got one of these power supplies, that's how you hook it up. Have fun.